Hello, Resurrection. October the 4th, and this is my Wednesday night uh, talk, my Wednesday afternoon talk. Uh, by now, most of you, I think, have probably uh, received the email or heard uh, through the uh, through the phone or through the grapevine that our uh, that our Jackie Lane, our 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 chief church lady, uh, has gotten a cancer uh, diagnosis, and um, uh, and that we are all praying really, really hard for Miss Jackie right now. And I'm going to ask you to uh, to maybe stop what you're doing uh, as soon as you watch this video and say a little prayer right now, right uh, right this minute uh, for uh, for Jackie and uh, pray. We are praying especially for. Um, for some good treatment and some alleviation of some pain uh, for Jackie. But I, I wanted to tell you um, about something that Jackie and I talk about all the time. And I mean all the time we talk about this. If I've heard Jackie say it once, I've heard her say it a hundred times, and that is, I don't know what people do without a church family and without the Lord Jesus. And that's how Jackie says it. I don't know what people do without the Lord. Uh, and you know what? I don't either. And it's it's more than just about uh, having somebody in your corner when the chips are down. It's, it's so much more than that, uh, is that our lives don't work right without the Lord Jesus and that we are hardwired to need him, to need the love of God in our lives. We don't even know what it feels like not to have the love of God in our lives. And we are hardwired to love him back. And that we are so, um, we, we have no earthly idea what it is that we are missing without God in our lives and without a church family in our lives. And, uh, and while we, we don't just need a church family when the chips are down, well, you can really uh, you you can really tell what it is that having a church family does for you when you are in uh, one of those situations. And as I, I've been thinking a lot about Jackie this week, and uh, and I have said to so many folks that there is not one single person who's ever walked in the door of this church that has not been touched by the ministry of Jackie Lane. They usually don't know it. Um, Jackie doesn't like to be the center of attention. Um, but in so many ways, Jackie is the unsung hero of our little story of recovery and resurrection on, on Sneed Road. Uh, and, um, and so now is the time uh, when we circle back around a woman who has always encircled us with her, with her work and with her prayers. Um, you know, you, you all know what Jackie does for us around here. I hope, though, that you have also had a, an opportunity to talk to Jackie about her faith and about her love of the Lord, because Jackie will not hesitate for a second to tell you um, about her love of the Lord Jesus and why you need to have the love of the Lord Jesus in your heart. And um, and if there's anything that we can do for Jackie right now is we can show that love back to her, a love that she taught many of us. We can show that love back to her. Uh, Jackie's not scared at all about her diagnosis because of the love of the Lord Jesus. But Jackie also has got, as you well know, Jackie's got a good bit of fight in her, and we're going to roll up our sleeves, and we're going to fight along with her. And we're going to pray as hard as we know how. So tonight is the blessing of the animals at uh, Resurrection. We're going to do that up at the pavilion. Uh, it'll be a nice night to do that. We're doing it at 5.30 instead of 6. And in hindsight, I probably shouldn't have changed that because everybody has to go home from work and get their puppy dog or their kitty cat. So we're pushing of uh, the time. So I'll tell you, if you're late coming, that's fine. Come on anyway. I, we'll stay out there for quite some time and we will uh, we'll bless uh, every every pet and every animal that needs to be blessed um, I think we'll also what we ought to do tonight is, um, apart from the blessing of the animals, is we ought to all get together and um, and bless a prayer shawl that we can take to um, that we can take to Jackie uh, that she can wrap around her shoulders when she's chilly, and it will also remind her of our love that wraps around her shoulders when she needs that too. So we'll probably do do that tonight also. No need to bring anything uh, to eat. We're not having a potluck dinner tonight. We're just getting together in the cool of the evening and blessing our puppy dogs and praying for some uh, some folks that we love uh, very much. Uh, Sunday school, our Christian education or Christian formation uh, or whatever it is that you call it, 
is going really, really well uh, right now. It is by far the largest Sunday morning class we've ever had since I've been here at Resurrection, and I appreciate your uh, your faithfulness to that. Folks are showing up uh, week after week. They've got their book with them. They know what's coming. They've done the reading. They're uh, engaged in conversation. It's a really good class right now, um, and I think one of the things that we like about it is it's very clear-cut. Um, uh, you, you know what's coming the next week, and you also know that if you missed the week before, it's not going to throw you off for the next week. Another thing I think people like about it is it's not just the same person teaching week after week after week. We're, we're changing it up. John, has, John Schuster has taught some. I've taught some. Elizabeth Nash will teach some. Byron Faulkneson will teach some. Um, may, maybe, uh, well, some, some other folks, too, are, are, gonna, are going to, to teach. And I like that. It gives us an opportunity to get to know some other folks and their teaching styles and, um, and just changes things up. I'm afraid you get tired of hearing it from me week after week. I don't think I've got any more announcements or anything for the good of the order. Uh, you all say your prayers and roll your sleeves up. Bring your puppy dogs and your kitty cats and, and what else you have, your hamsters, your uh, gerbils, your uh, guinea pigs, bring, bring them all tonight. We will bless those animals that bless us in our lives. And then if I don't see you tonight, I'll see you on Sunday. I love you much.